And here it is at long last. The final prison. Everything I have learned from building prisons, escaping from prisons, exploring prisons, and ruining prisons, I'm going to combine into one super prison. In theory. I mean, it's probably going to go terribly wrong. Thanks to everybody who gave me uh, very, very sound advice on how to lock prisoners up into certain areas yesterday, which we will be applying in our new prison. I wish you could rename your prison. Maybe you can. I don't know. I've never played the tutorial. I quite literally have not had the time to still play it. So, uh, I think we start with boring old, balanced old, boring old warden. Oh, do we? I like some of these other ones, but I think I... I mean, he's quite good, right? The pacifier seems quite good, but I just like the the warden. I think we're just going to go pure warden here. Warden mode, absolutely not. We're going to start on a medium plot of land, I think. Maybe a large. We could go all in early on. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to turn off Fog of War uh, simply because I believe it's a better viewing experience for you guys. Um, what difference does it make playing on the moon? I don't know, but this was originally going to be a moon lunar playthrough. So, God damn it, we're going back on the moon. Islands banned. Never heard of them before in my life. Failure conditions on. Criminally insane inmates off because they're going to drive me criminally insane more than them. Dynamic reputations are quite like the idea of. Have a chance to gain or lose unique reputation traits during their time in prison based on their activities and experiences inside. That sounds quite fun. We might actually get to know our prisoners a little bit more with that, huh? I'm going to I'm gonna tick that one. Weather and temperature. No, thank you. I, I mean, staff needs I haven't got a problem with either. That sounds like that could be quite interesting. Require food, rest, and other comforts in order to... That, to, to be honest, I thought they needed that anyway, to be blunt. Uh, more escape options for your prisoners. They can now try and climb over your walls. Unlimited funds, bureaucracy research, tools and cheats, or our starting funds, I suppose those are. Um, let's see how mutate is then. What else we got here? Uh, danger zone is maximum danger level. Okay. Um, good shit. Randomly getting a reputation trait is quite interesting. I like the sound of the acid rain one too. That's quite fun. Um, I don't really know. All prisoners are legendary. That sounds that sounds madness. That sounds absolute madness. I'm going to turn on fast deliveries, uh, just because that seems that just seems like quite a good thing to be honest with you. That seems like something that will save us a little bit of time more than anything else, because I'll just edit out the delivery time anyway, right? So I, I feel like I need to enable something now to add a bit more difficulty in, seeing as I've taken some things off. We could go gangs. Um, you know, let's go events. Why not? Those sound like they could be quite fun. An unpredictable extra little bit of challenge here and there. You know, unlike gangs, it's going to keep things, hopefully, you know, dynamic. Let's give it a go. Here we go, my friends. Large Lunar Prison. This looks like the same size as all the other prisons we built. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. <laughs> it's a nice callback to the start of the series. I've decided to re-enable the Star Wars Texture Pack 2. Um, simply for no reason other than the fact that we are back playing on the moon. It was it was always the point, right? So, here we are. Uh, I've got the 24-hour clock up there as well, just because it's a bit more, you know, it's a bit more easier for everybody to read then, isn't it? We've got daily credits. What are we bringing in there? 2,000 a day. Very nice. Credit balance. We've got 290k available to us from our last successful, quote-unquote, prison island. Let's see what we can do then. I like the idea of having... Let's keep it paused a second. I like the idea of having the entrance, like, all the way recessed down here. The only way out being all the way down here. And then having a big, long path up to that. I think that could be quite fun. Logistically, it's going to be an absolute fucking nightmare. But I think that could be quite a nice idea to prevent so many escapees. Now, the uh, to be honest, that 290k that we got immediately, we could sink that straight into... What do you think about sinking that straight into perimeter walls? Now, people have been saying that there's a better way to do perimeter walls in that we should double them up. Somebody said that you can get people throwing... Oh, my God. That's going to be expensive. Fucking hell. What? Do you see that? Hang on. Let's go, let's go back and see how much that was again. It's quite difficult to actually do that and zoom out there. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be um, almost all of our fucking money right gone, huh? 132,000 straight off the bat. I mean, we could. I mean, we could, though, couldn't we? If we do something like that, too, and then build... No, no. We want to do something like that and then build a big old, big old gate across it, I guess. Let's leave a little bit of an air gap there, too. I mean, look, we sold that other prison. We might as well get something out of it. The only thing I was about to say um, is that somebody said because people can throw contraband over the walls, it's best to have another perimeter wall, like back a few blocks, something like this. How much will that cost me? Can we afford both? I mean, that's high tier, isn't it? Immediately kicking things off with a double perimeter wall. No one's escaping from that. No one's escaping from that. I like it. You know what? You son of a bitch, I'm in. Or am I? 
We could put down a concrete wall instead of a perimeter wall or just a fence. Because that way they're not going to get to it. And if we say that's... um, And then what I was thinking of doing was a dog patrol around the edge. And if we make that staff only, our staff can use it as shortcuts to different parts of the prison too. What do you think of that then? I think that could work. One, two, three, four on that side. Let me just make sure I've got this all lined up. Three, four. On this side, we got one, two, three, four. And then at the bottom, uh, one, two, three, four. Very nice. Okay. Hey, that's good. We got big old perimeter wall. We got the fence. 156k still in the bank. It's going to take ages, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I need to hire a couple more. Look, as long as we don't go into the negative, it doesn't really matter. So if I just go ahead and trip like a few wardens down here, we're still making 400 of wardens, a few uh, workmen. We're still making 490 credits a day, right? So let's just let those guys get to work. Uh, what? They seem to have taken the money for the perimeter fence, but not actually built the perimeter fence. You see, they started it and then they stopped, but I still lost the money. Brother? That's fucked. That's, that's, that's really fucked up. So now what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You can't just take... This is, this is embezzlement. Oh, fuck off. Is that like a, is that like a cheat mode? Can I give myself back 100k? Because that is some real fucking high tier, low tier, big bullshit tier crap. Oh, you can't even load back in and sell it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me let me try this one. Let me try the cloud save. Can I can I sell this now? Otherwise I'm gonna there we go. Full thing. Okay. 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 It's 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 very, very annoying. Very annoying still, but here we are with our prison. With a lovely, lovely perimeter wall. Isn't that right, game? Really lovely perimeter wall that isn't gonna go anywhere this time. Finally my fences are done. You know, the fences that I actually paid for. They're they're nice and finished. We got exports, garbage, delivery, storage. I've decided to build some actual rooms near the entrance for that for the first time ever, you know. A little bit of convenience here and there, wherever applicable. Decided we'll probably put down a utility room. Uh well, unless you want to put like power on one side, water on the other. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because I imagine we're gonna need more than one if you plan on filling this entire bloody place. Let's do something like that for the time being. I'm gonna try and not use quick build too much. Unless it's like uh, just to get an idea of something like maybe a building that we haven't really done before like the workshop or whatever um, But for the most part, I'm gonna try and not use so much quick build this time just because I think I you know I think I know how shit works at this stage. Yeah? So let's go staff doors over here So we're gonna keep kind of again staff areas to kind of the front maybe visitation parole and shit like that down the front too And then we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put the put the prisoners all the way at the back I guess so um, it's still probably the, mo the most likely place they're going to escape, right? I mean, they can still get out of the perimeter walls, as we now found out. Uh, oh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes here. Right, let's go ahead and put some put some doors down. Oops, shit. Oh! It's like the offices and shit. Like, I'm not going to be able to build a better office than that, right? I mean, the offices are all pretty much the same, huh? so we might as well just stick down a few of those preemptively, because we know we're going to need a shitload of those. So this is where the entrance to the prison is going to be around here. I'll, I'll build some big old doors across there, too, just to kind of corral the prisoners a bit. I'm, I'm trying to think ahead. And what else would need to be near the front door? Stuff like uh, the mail room is a pretty good one. Parole, visitation. I guess we'll have that all all kind of in, in these front zones. We could even go as far as put another perimeter fence like down there. I don't know if this is the right idea. I kind of want to... I kind of want to research everything before we... Is, is that the right thing to do? Before I, I start building different things. Because like right now, without health, I can't build an infirmary. I can't plan that stuff out. So I'm thinking maybe just go butt wild on all of it. Sure, it'll take a little longer because our cash influx right now is garbage. I think I'd rather just kind of get it all done, you know? I think I'm going to commit to my idea of having like these front sections for visitation, parole, that type of crap. Mail rooms. I don't know what else we need. Guards areas uh dog kennels you know there's plenty of stuff to fill it with um so got prison uh, we've, we've got prison yard here i was thinking we, we could even dare i say it mix and match prisoner types um maybe have like maximum security over here minimum security down here with the two separate holding cells leading into each area completely separate them seems like a pretty sensible idea this is going to be an infirmary leading but i'm going to try and keep it kind of symmetrical here um have a yard on that side yard on that side infirmary in the middle to, to tend to everybody you know like as conveniently as possible uh how are we doing on the oh how are we doing on the health front brother still still nowhere near huh 
fucking lazy ward. Now, the problem we've always had with the kind of quick build canteen is it's bloody small, isn't it? I want to go for something massive. Like, maybe I would rather go overkill than underkill. Womble in free. Uh, so I'm thinking, let's drop something like, uh... Fuck, I mean... I mean, how big do we want to go here? Because I, I I don't mind going, like, like real, real large. Like, real unit. Uh... Something like... no oh shit. Now, let's go bigger than that. Let's go, like, uh... One of those? Uh... I mean, we could. That does seem very large. Ah, fuck it. Ah, oh, why not? Then we can have the kitchen on the civilian side of things, huh? <laughs> you can tell it's late in real life and I'm tired because I just looked at the clock and I thought, holy shit, it's already 10 to 2. No. No, genius. That's in the that's in the video game. And it is difficult to admit sometimes, but video games are not real life. Uh, this one is a kitchen. And this big bitch is a canteen. Fucking hell. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. Right, okay. The canteen leads into the yard. The yard is bloody tiny by comparison. We'll probably expand the yard out. To be honest, I could, I could bring it in line there with the uh, with what is going to be the infirmary eventually. Uh, let's get some paving stones down now. Huh? Oh, that is paved. It's just outdoors. Um, should we turn that indoors? I suppose I might as well make it as much indoors as possible, right? It couldn't hurt. I'll be honest. The money situation's got me a lot concerned. I did have to fire uh, everybody but the warden to, uh, to be able to afford to keep the lights on. I think we need some prisoners. I think we need some prisoners. Uh, rooms then. I, I'll be honest. I think the quick build rooms are probably fine. Basic cell. We could go improved cell. There's a little uh, there's a little holocron in there of Jar Jar Binks. Well, I don't know who that's supposed to be. Uh, I could sit down a little little Star Warsy cell. That could be that could be quite nice, huh? Put it like all the way all the way back over here. I'm gonna stick down just like what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cells because I need the money. Uh, let's go like that. Let's put down a boring old door there. Let's, uh, let's put down a, let's put down a big old thick boy wall there. Again, all temporary stuff. All very, very temporary stuff. Though, if this is minimum security, I could go shared cells. What are you doing? You're not thinking it through. You're not thinking it through. Cancel that shit. Let's go shared cell. This is going to be minimum set, right? So let's just fucking ram them in. Let's ram them in. This is going to be our, our kind of, our, our bread and butter, our baseline, our foundation for building some real crazy shit. And I think let's just ram them in. I mean, look, the prison is sealed up, right? <laughs> Let them in. Let them in. I need some money. We got medium security, minimum security. 300 per. Oh, fuck it. Gone. 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 Let them in. Just, I'll take the lot. If they're going to give me 10k. That's enough to build a few cells before they all start complaining, right? Right? <laughs> oh, God. Here they are. Oh, God. Here they are. Hello. Um, Please stand there and wait. Please don't. Also, throw yourself in front of the buses. That's very... Oh, no. What? No, guards. I haven't got any guards. And they're stuck behind guard doors. Are you kidding me? Because the prisoners are here. They've shut the doors now. Fucking brilliant. Uh, what, what, which ones Which ones are the guards? Some of the... Uh, guards, guards, guards. No, it's not. Stormtrooper. Of course, it, of course it's Stormtroopers. You idiot. Of course it's Stormtroopers. There we are. Right. Get to work, boys. So I might have to hire a couple more just to help... Uh, Help shift things along a bit faster. I could always hold this door open, couldn't I? Go on. There you go. Be free. We've got a lot of money actually wrapped up in grants too, haven't we? Uh, give me, give me, give me some of that. Uh, thank you. Yep, that'll do. All right, there's that one down. Uh, I'm sure we've fulfilled that. Nope, we definitely have not. <laughs> oh no, that we've got. We haven't got a finance officer. I, I could just hire one quickly and just get it done, I. Eh? Let's just do that. Uh, uh, give me, give me one of those. Right, welcome. Good shit. Right, done. Okay, next step. Uh, two cooks. Two cooks is easy. We can do that. Uh, cook, cook. Done. Easy. That's bring the prisoners through the canteen. No problems with that. Thank you. Bring them in. I've done this arse backwards. Ah, uh, you could say that. You could say that. But then again, I am an expert in uh, in managing. Look, I've sold a successful prison before. I've sold one successful prison. You can't even deny that. Those are the game's words, not mine. Those are the game's words, not mine. I mean, they can, I mean, look, we can let them run around here. If they can go free range all they want. Doesn't matter if this door is sealed or not. Look, we got another 21 arriving. I've only just got on top of the prisoners that we've got right now. Sir, this is too many prisoners. <laughs> I think maybe I should slow it a little bit, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll treat it as a little extra challenge here. I'm, I'm having to kind of bash out some solitary cells, and to be honest, it kind of 
kind of fitted in a lot more nicely around here too because it was uh fucking state otherwise there we are um you need working toilets too really you're in prison pal this isn't a fucking botlands probably many people are from the uk right now asking what's the difference <laughs> no that is a fair point uh what can we do around here i think we'll leave that as just kind of a little oh god that's fucking horrible as a little solitary block um and then we could do kind of the same thing on the other side and then spin this into a common room. This kind of weird shape area. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm doing lots of little smaller blocks like this. So like this, this bit is like a block. We'll do another big block off here. Uh, and then kind of rinse and repeat basically and, and kind of fan out from there. Gone is what we do with all this space over here. Because obviously if we've got the canteen there, that's not going to work. What I might have to do is have the, gar the, the, the guys go around the edge then and have another kind of kitchen here. And then have another canteen and then obviously fan out from there too. So they'll kind of meet in the middle. I know my mouse movements are really not describing this very well. But I, I think you kind of get the idea, right? That way I imagine if there's a prison right, it'll be a lot more easy to contain. Because you've got loads of prisoners. Well, actually, no, you haven't. You've, you've got smaller groups of prisoners more easily containable. And what's the downside to that? I guess logistics themselves. So again, having multiple canteens and pathing to those multiple canteens. Oh god, what is... What? Uh... The fire started in the kitchen. Yeah, no shit. Thanks for letting me know. Did he have to call me for that? Oh my god, I bet that's a random event, isn't it? You son of a bitch. Go, 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 go. Uh, fire engines. Help me out. Go, run. Run little fire droids. That's not the kitchen, too, I'd like to point out. That's the fucking canteen, but, uh, who's keeping track? Who's keeping track? Clearly not the fucking warden. Uh, where's the fire engine? Really? Could you drive any faster? Careful. Jesus, look at this. Breakneck speeds. My God. <laughs> They're walking faster than that thing was driving, for fuck's sake. What have we found on that guy? What the hell was that? Is it that contraband? You are little robots. Good as new. Thank you, friends. Wow. You have to pay for emergency services, was that? Good God. Space America. Oh, that is sad, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I feel like I should just give him... Uh, can I afford it? 17... Th no, they can wait. <laughs> they can wait. How many prisons have we got coming in? 34 minimum security coming in tomorrow. Jesus, okay. Um, I suppose we could extend this cell block out a little bit, couldn't we? I don't think, I don't think we've quite hit peak... Peak maximum prison efficiency yet uh let's let's trip down a few more shared cells i am trying to keep these kind of two block wide corridors too i guess it probably doesn't really matter so much in uh in minimum security because they're less likely to just kind of walk past and shank one another i would assume i don't know i'm not an expert they just like put what the fuck is that is that calvin and hobbs god damn that's tough as nails uh could i Put down. What's to stop me? Yeah, get get out of here. Oh, God. Oh. It's the same photo. What's it doing? Get rid of it. Ha! <laughs> uh, can I put down the... Bunk beds again in the same cell? Can I double up on that? Or triple up on that? Or quadruple up on that? These are the questions we've got to ask. Uh, bu bunk, 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 but excuse me. Ba, uh, thank you. Bunk bed. Like, could I just, could I just do that? Is there a problem with that? Maybe, maybe it's the fact they can't get into it. But I could definitely do that. There's no doubt about that. Holy shit. Oh my god. Think of the, think of the real estate. Local streamer increases prison capacity by third. With this one simple trick. Other wardens hate him. It's me. I, it's me. I'm the other wardens. Right, there we go. Hey, look at that. Holy shit. Give me some more bunk beds in there. 53 out of 56. That hasn't worked. That's telling me five people are... Oh, well, to be fair, we haven't got other people to... Oh, no, no, no. You're right. That hasn't worked, though. Maybe that doesn't work. You're telling me I can only have three people per cell. Oh. Oh, so I've just wasted a load of money, then. All right. Well, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why can I not have more people in the... I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe they'll cram in when the new prison bus turns up. Let's let's see. I think my big problem the first time I played was that I viewed the prisoners as an obstacle and not as what they should be viewed as, which is no, not human beings, but profit, pure, unadulterated profit. Money is coming in on that bus. All we've got to do is wait for that investment to mature, monopoly style. 
So why don't we, uh, why don't we just leave it on, on a, a, take as many as we can. They're minimum security. Who gives a shit? You know, the occasional one turns up with a ship. We stick them in solitary. They say, oh, well, sorry, pal. And then they, you know, go about their business. All they cause a fucking prison riot. Excuse me, this is supposed to be minimum security, sir. This part is because they're in, though, for, you know, like minimum security crimes. A lot of these guys, they don't know how to street fight. You know, they don't know how to handle themselves when, when, when shit kicks off. The guards are just going to come in and fucking pop them. Like this guy here. What are you in for? John Lawrence. Criminal damage for six years. All he, he probably just keyed someone's car because they took his place in, you know, Waitrose or some shit. You got Dave Psycho Salter Salter. Vandalism for one year. It's probably Greenpeace. Probably, he probably tied himself to an SO or something. The oh, fuck? Well, that's not good at all. Brandon Forks Hennessy? Convicted for funding the gaming industry has been deported, locked up in Introversion's prison for testing, has been here since Alpha 13. Sentenced to three years for forgery. Plea not guilty. Well, that's fine. He, he might, he may or may not be guilty of forgery. That's the type of prisoner I want. Did I just put, did I just, did I just put walls down and then not, fuck. <laughs> not put foundations down, we're going to be... Actually, what I meant to say there. Oh, bollocks. Well, okay. We'll see what kind of fucking mess this makes then. I'm going to turn that into a shower room. Um, figured that was nice and convenient to everything. And it kind of lets me smooth this hideous solitary area out. Should we just put like one shower head in there? Just like one shower head and force them to share. Really, really put the fucking fear of God in it, mate. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get a few of these down then. Um, let's go. Oh, you know what? I should put in a middle wall, shouldn't I? Like a dividing wall. Give us more surface area to work with. Have I got to like... How does this work though? Have I got to give them room on either side or... Can they can they kind of bunch up in the same square? I haven't got the funds for any of this shit. Jesus. Let's just put down... Like, it, look, we put down a single shower head. We're going to finish that bill, I assume. So we might as well... Might as well just drop one of those. Uh, let's put it like there. Here. It will give them a gap between each shower. There you go. Right, we are, we are just about... Just about keeping on top of the prisoner needs. Uh, that is, of course, you know, bedrooms and shit. Uh, let's get all this shit plumbed in as fast as we can. How long have we got? 34 more prisoners coming. Fuck me. How could anyone afford this? We've got to basically just keep them in the holding cells until the, <laughs> until the rooms are ready. And that's like just in time for the next batch to come in. Is your prisoner capacity to 15? Definitely done that. No problem at all. Give me my grant. What? Sir? Sir? What the hell are you talking about? Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Yeah, I think I'm beyond that. Uh, brother? Raise your... Oh, my God. Transfer the existing prisoners into cells of their own. If they're all shared cells, does that shit not count? Oh, you can't do that. Because now if I cancel, I lose 2k. You son of a bitch. Fine. Um... Right, can we get anything else ticked off here? 20 inmates, done. Easy, 50 inmates, done. 50k, in the bank, look at that. That's what I like to see. Okay, well, what we could do is we could build minimum, uh, uh, not minimum security, sorry, medium security individual cells, which I think is kind of the bare minimum, right? Um, or I keep going for this place, especially as we've got a shitload more prisoners on the way. Those should line up fine, right? And we could go solitary again kind of line this with solitary blocks because we're gonna have a lot of prisoners coming through here oh no i turned that into a staff door bollocks <laughs> um we could just lock it open i guess doesn't really make that much of a difference i don't think probably get a few more guards like eight prisoners per guard oh, i mean they're minimum security though right minimum security maybe get a few drains down too seeing as they keep insisting on uh Fisting their toilets. Very, very annoying. Build you people this fucking luxury shower and look what you've done. To be fair, we've got 138 of them, 11 guards. Okay, well, fine. Okay. I'll hire some more guards for God's sake. Go. Sick them, boys. Get them. Fuck them up. Two people have died already. It's probably, probably for drowning, if nothing else. What a fucking state, huh? I feel like I should probably get down a couple of beds, or as they call them now, back to tanks, because, you know, this is space. You, can't, you don't have beds in space. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, 500 apiece. Fucking hell. I'll just leave them on the floor. I feel like with every prison architect I build, I feel like I should go for lawyers to starve with. Uh. <laughs> line up, prisoners. Line up. It's time for your depressing four hours of walking in circles around the yard. <laughs>
Uh, oh god, the foundations are, uh, really fucking doing a number again, huh? Jesus, okay. I don't know if, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe, maybe I am just doing it wrong. Maybe they're just a little on the janky side. Maybe, that, maybe they're just a little bit, uh, a little bit. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do that, you know? Just trying to do that. I don't know why sometimes it fills stuff in. I don't know why sometimes it removes the floor. Oh, Jesus. A water pipe is burst and is flooding the area. Brilliant. 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 How do I do that? Sorry. What do I, what do I do? How do I do that? A water pipe is... How do I... What do I do? What do I do? Help. Help me. What do, what do I do? Emergencies? Emergencies? Is, it, is this an emergency? It sounds like a fucking emergency. Send the fire engines in. What the hell do I do? Uh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. U utilities, pipe, pipe. You put down a fresh pipe. A fresh pipe? You don't put down a fresh pipe. Water, small, small pipe. No, no, small pipe. Um, um, I don't really know how to fix that. So should I let it, should I kind of flood? <laughs> we can put down drains. <laughs> Problem solved, as far as I'm concerned. I guess I'll spruce up the yard a little bit now, seeing as it's uh, a fucking dump. Should put a guard pavilion in there somewhere, too. I feel like, again, I feel like in low security, probably a waste of time, but we could chuck one down. They're, they're so weird, aren't they? They really just don't match the rest of the game. It's very bizarre. Um, guard pavilion corner. We could we could stick one over here. I mean, I don't really know quite how you're supposed to... Maybe we, we put them outside. We put it, like, there. And we give the guards access to the infirmary or something. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but maybe it, maybe if it works, it works. And you get a sniper up there, right? You've got so much to do out here now. You can sit down or sit down or sit down. <laughs> I mean, you could sit down on the weight bench. You are still sitting down, but you can do other things. You can tire rack and then you can climb to make up for all that sitting down that you've done. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. 152. Uh, just because they haven't got separate cells, apparently that's enough to uh, make or break the deal. I think this is good. I think so far, this is a fucking 10 out of 10 prison. Might have gone a little hard on the solitary, I will admit, but uh, to be honest, with my competent prisoning, couldn't hurt having a little bit of... Uh, little bit of so Look, it's, it's preventative, right? An ounce of prevention is a... is a ounce of cure. An ounce... A bird in the hand is two in the fist. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to get at here. The point is that they're going to see how many solitary cells are, and they're going to think, whoa, whoa, buddy. Let's not get into a fist fight with, th with this guy. Let's, let's not start, you know, shanking one another willy-nilly just for the fun of it because we're bored of fucking sitting down all day. Because uh, they they are going to lock us away, and they're going to they're gonna throw away the key. We can sit on a dirty shitter all day. It's, a, it's their choice. They can sit on a nice table next to some sacra trees or... It's, it's a dirty toilet. Why are they all dirty? That's vile. Does the warden have to ensure every single toilet in this place comes pre-shitted? Does he himself perhaps take the mantle of premium toilet shitter? I, I don't want to question it. I don't know how these things really go down. Um, laundry room wouldn't go and miss. <laughs> Fucking hell. Welcome to the shirt room. I need a staff room on the subject of rooms that I don't have or perhaps don't need. Because um, my poor boys are besides themselves Bes besides themselves that's the right word it'll do uh they're beside themselves with 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 boredom and tiredness Where the fuck am i gonna put this does it fit anywhere oh I, I mean i guess up here it doesn't really matter so much because it's like staff only right yeah sure i guess we'll, we'll put it there one by one corridor to move through but that's a, it's for a staff room they're probably probably pleased about that but parole how are we going to get to parole if I put them out here? We have to take them through the kitchen. We could always just board this off and, and not treat it as a kitchen. We could we could put like the mail room here or something as well. Uh, have we got mail room? M -m 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 no. What have we got here? Mail room. Requires detention center labor. Okay. Um, well, look, parole, we could definitely stick down here. No problem. Without having to worry about it. I mean, they do kind of fit there. Sure. Okay. You know what? I think I'm happy for, for the first day's progress. 152, only minimum security. Boring, old, crappy, regular, shitty prisoners. But they're cash in the bank. We're making $8,000 reduce, almost $9,000 reduce a day. 
This is this is big news. That is that is big profit, big money. All we've got to do, and these guys, they just they just you know they just they just deal with themselves. Minimum security. They don't give a shit. They're just happy to hang around like the like the sheep that they are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, what I want you guys to do, as always, is uh, rate my prison. Give me a letter between A for amazing to you for uncredible which is the opposite of incredible which is why we have used do you have used in america for for not like female sheep but like the, the 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 test result you know when you do so bad that it's ungradable that's what the u stands for ungradable uh if, if my prison is ungradable let me know uh i think if i had to grade myself i think that's a solid b plus i think that's a solid b plus as in be prepared for failure that's what the plus is, the, the failure. Thank you to the executive producer patrons for making yet another episode of um, shocking human rights violations possible. Thank you to Night Rouge, Bongo, Baldor Hammer, Jobo Daddy, Apple Cat, TG Taps, Moosh, Master Rob, and Blood Snakes Chaos for their support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. And a thank you as well to... Bucky, Salkath Sith, Salakin J, Atreus Sen, Neancat 17, thanks for the loan, Bojo, Mountain Canal Bay, Larry the Emu, Lady Cerulean, a good chunk of Balsa, Flom, Hawkin, Hawk, 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 it's gonna get me every single time, I hope you're aware of this, Hawklin, Hawklin, I think so, Mystic370, and Kippos as well for their support.